Everyone is ordering online right now, and if you're not, then most likely you're out of business. But if you are, how are you utilizing this platform? Today, we're gonna to be covering the seven tips to increase your online orders, so then that way you can outbeat all your competitors. Make sure you guys keep watching until the end, so then that way you guys can have more profits in your pockets. Hey, it's Wilson here, your friend in helping you build a successful, thriving, profitable restaurant. Just wanna give a major shout out to these two individuals here who are inspiring us and motivating us to create more of these content for you. If you want a shout out, make sure you guys leave a comment in the section below so then that way we know this is the type of content you like. Now, without further ado, let's dive right in. Number one tip in increasing your online orders is to have signages. This is the lowest hanging fruit that a lot of businesses are not utilizing. It is because with this new normal, everyone are trying to adapt to it. They don't know if your restaurant is open. They don't know whether you are accepting online deliveries and online orders or not, which is the reason why you need to tell them, you need to yell it out that you are now in business, you are now accepting delivery as an option. That's the reason why you need to have signages, 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 plaster them all over your windows, plaster them on your sandwich board, plaster them in your restaurant. Let people know that you are now doing business again and that you are doing online orders. My favorite restaurant did that and that's the reason why I, I always go back to it for the last week. Not just because it's, because it's my favorite, but because that's the only place I know that is open. Second step in increasing your online orders is to tell your customers to share it. It is so important for you to actually tell them that, hey, you know what, can you please support local business? Tell your friends and family that we're open and for them to spread the word on their social media. You tell them to do something, they're much more likely to act on that, which is the reason why I always tell you guys to, hey, you know what, if you like this video, make sure you smash the like button and a lot of you are supporting us as they are in our journey and therefore you would smash the like button. So you need to tell your customers to tell their friends that you're open for business, that you're open for online delivery and thus you're gonna be able to see an uplift in your online orders. Third step is to update and share within your social media. Share on your Instagram, share in your stories, share in your Facebook, share it within all the social media network out there and yell it at the top of your lungs that you guys are open, that you guys are open for online delivery. This is crucial time for us to actually just let everyone know because a lot of us are still just cooking at home because we still think that where everyone is under quarantine as much as the government is opening up shop for everyone and allowing people to be in business a lot of people just don't know which restaurants are open which are not that's the reason why you need to tell all your following that you are open for business and that you are open for online delivery and in turn a lot more people will come and buy from you Fourth step in increasing your online orders is to update your Google My Business. Google is favoring all the businesses that have filled in all their attributes. For example, if you have free parking on lot or not, if you have your updated hours or not, if you are dog friendly or not. So filling in as much attributes as you can within the system allows Google to favor you more. So for me as a regular consumer, I would just go on Google and search for, for example, yesterday night, I was typing in top Shanghai food and only one place popped up because they updated their Google My Business. And on top of that, I was able to see beautiful high definition pictures, which enticed me to order from them already because I'm like, wow, this looks amazing. And on top of that, they replied to their emails and also their feedback and reviews. And that makes me feel confident in purchasing from this location. And that's the reason why it is crucial even through this pandemic that you update your Google My Business accounts. If you guys find any value whatsoever from this video, make sure you smash the like button so then that way we know this is the type of content that you enjoy and we'll make more of it for you. Now, let's get back to regular programming. Next step in increasing your online orders is to make your website 
super apparent. And what I mean by that is have delivery as an option uh, above the fold of your website. So then that way people don't need to scroll down, people don't need to move their browsers. A the majority of the people that are searching, they're on their phone. So make sure that delivery as an option is always, always right in the corner of the top of your page. So in that way people know exactly that they can order from you, they don't need to search, they don't need to scroll, and that in turn allows you to have much more sales just by having your online delivery option at the top of your page. Sixth step to increase your online delivery orders is to utilize your emails. A lot of restauranteurs collect emails, but they don't really utilize them. They don't send their customers emails on a regular basis, so now is the time for you to do that, for you to actually establish a rapport with your customers, give them value, tell them something interesting, connect with them, and then when the timing is right, send them an offer, send them a Father's Day meal, send them a happy hour meal for them to purchase from you. And that in turn allows you to have much more uplift in your online orders. And something that is also an amazing tool of why email marketing is so, so good is because you can track, you can track how much people are actually buying from you, how many people actually clicked on the link and actually purchased from you. And that's the beauty of email marketing. So if you're not on it, make sure you're on it, make sure you give value, value, value before you ask for something in return. Last but not least, something that is my personal favorite is to add a personalized message to all your meals. Something that I think is crucial to establish that rapport with your customers now. And that's the reason why I consult with all my clients. I tell them you should always, always write a personalized message out there for your customers because now's the time that you need to lean on your customers to spread the word for you. And as a customer, we're not used to and accustomed to getting these private messages. So if someone actually wrote me a message when I order through DoorDash, thank you Wilson for your support um, and um, much love. And that's something that I would take to heart because I'm like, wow, this restaurant actually cares. This restaurant actually took one step above and beyond to actually write me a message. And for me, in turn, I would either put, uh, take a po photo of it, put it on Instagram or whatnot, and share it with the world about how amazing this restaurant is. So therefore, if you want an uplift on your online orders, make sure you guys start utilizing this best practice to write a personalized message for your customers. So there you go, the seven tips to increase your online delivery orders. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit short, which is the reason why I invite you to join my free masterclass in the link below. And this masterclass is an hour long, full of action packed strategies in building a restaurant from scratch with all the best practices. I know everyone out there that is interested in building a restaurant or already in the restaurant business can take a tremendous amount of value from this video. Make sure you guys sign up in the link below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.